Good morning, everybody. Mr. Kennedy here. And today we are going to be learning how to draw a frog. All right, my friends. So to get started on our frog, the first thing you might notice about my paper is it was going landscape style. That means it was going the long way. So for my frog, the first thing I'm going to do is kind of in the middle of my paper, I'm going to start with a nice big oval. And this is going to be for my frog's head. I want to remind us at home, it is important to make sure we are drawing lightly because some of these lines today, we will be erasing. All right, now the first thing I'm gonna do is let's give our frog two nice big eyes. So towards the top of my head, I'm gonna make two oval shapes. I'm gonna do one right here and notice it starts inside of my head and it goes outside of the head. So it's gonna go over that line. And afterwards, I can just erase that little bit inside this oval. But I'll make sure I give him two, because it's so my frog can have two eyes. Again, I'll just erase that little bit of his head that's inside that oval. And I'm gonna do two thick lines for his eyes. And then I like to give my frog little eyebrows. You don't have to, but I like to for fun. Next, I'm gonna draw a little sideways, um, kind of a letter C shape. So it's gonna be a little curve. And then in the middle of that curve, I'm gonna make a big line that's gonna come all the way towards the other side of his face. All right, next. Um, let's give him his back legs. Those are gonna be the big ones. So on the side of his head, kind of right in the middle, I'm gonna make a large shape that comes up, kind of like I'm drawing as part of a heart. It's gonna come back around. And now once it gets starts to kind of line up with his body again, I'm gonna come back out. So I'm gonna make a straight line. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit and I'm gonna bring it back in. I'm just gonna make a little oval or a little hook like that. Not connecting my oval, but bringing it around just past his foot, almost like it's gonna go back into his leg. Now I'm gonna draw the same line on this side. So again, I'm gonna start kind of towards the middle of his head. I'm gonna come up, out, like I'm drawing a nice big heart. I wanna bring it back around. And again, once I start to get it kind of lining up with the side of his head, that's when I'll make my straight line coming out for his foot or her foot. Again, I wanna bring it around and I'm not gonna close my oval, I'm just gonna, a little loop just like that. All right, next, let's do his front legs. These ones are gonna be a lot smaller. So kind of right here on the bottom of his head, I'm gonna make a little dot, one right here, one right here. These are gonna be where I start his front legs. So I'm gonna make a little, kind of like a upside down L. It's gonna come out and it's gonna come down at an angle. And let's do that on both sides. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, kind of like I'm making it a triangle, I'm gonna come up and then a little angle back in. Up and then a little angle back into his body. And at the bottom of this, let's give him a little circle for his hand, or his hands, where his hands would be, I should say. All right, now let's go back to his back legs, his back foot, where I made this line from the bottom of his foot, hooking around, coming around. I'm gonna bring it up just like that, and I'm gonna stop right there in the middle of his leg. That's gonna make it look like it's folding a little bit. And I'm gonna do that on the same, or on the other side as well. All right, next thing I like to do is I make to, I'm gonna make a little curve line. So it's gonna come from the back of his foot here. It's gonna curve almost like it's going through his hands. It's gonna come all the way over this way. Again, going through his arm and into his foot. Uh, next thing is I wanna make my, 
er, so this is gonna be my basic frog. I, one last thing I wanna do is I'm gonna make my frog's tongue sticking out like he's gonna catch a fly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little oval shape in the middle of his mouth, which I can color in black. And from that oval shape, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make two big lines. It's gonna come out at an angle and let's send it way out here. Frogs have nice, huge tongues. And from here, I'm gonna make a big kind of oval shape, but I'm not gonna close it. Instead, I'm gonna bring that line back down and into that little oval I made in the beginning for on his mouth. Then one last thing I can do is erase that little bit of line going through his tongue and then I'm gonna put a little fly on the end of his tongue. So I'm just gonna make a little circle that I'll eventually color in black. And then two little loops, two little oval shapes to give it wings. One, two. And then last thing is I'm gonna put a lily pad for my frog to sit on. So I'm gonna come up to the kind of like where his shin is on the side of his leg and I'm gonna curve it around Almost like I'm making a big oval and I'm gonna come back up and again I'm gonna curve it back into his leg just like that and then on one side of my that oval I just drew for my lily pad somewhere on there I want to make a little triangle I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna go back out and then with my eraser I'm just gonna erase that little bit of that line on the outside edge so it looks like my lily pad has a little part where it comes in. Just like that. And now I am ready to trace and color. And that, my friends, is how we draw our frog, a cartoon frog. I'll pause. If you want to pause the video here at home, you can match the same colors, but you do not have to. I hope you guys had fun today. I hope you stay safe, you keep drawing, and I'll see you next time.